Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about implementation of given boolean function. We have two different types of boolean function. One is SOP type that is sum of product and another is POS type that is product of sum. We will see both different type of boolean function how it can be implemented in a logic circuit using basic gate basic gate that is and or and inverters suppose we take uh, one boolean function y is equal to ac plus a bar b plus ab bar from the equation we can see that it is SOP type of boolean function in case of SOP type of boolean function, we know that we have product terms. Now let us start uh, implementing our boolean function. In given boolean function, we know that uh, we have three input. So we take uh, three inputs, input A, input B, input C. Now for the first product term we have to take AND gate and first product term that is AC so we take directly input A as well as C for the second product term we require A bar dot B for the A bar inverted input we take a NOT gate or inverter and B we take directly for the third product term that is a b bar so a is connected directly for the b bar we have used inverter if we check uh, final product terms of each and gate then we have a c a bar b and a b bar now our function is sop so sum of product we have prepared product so now for the sum term we use OR operation and we use OR gate. So we have used one OR gate with three inputs and we connect output of the AND gates to the input of the OR gate. And we take output of the OR gate and that is finally AC plus ABRB plus AB bar. Now let us take uh, one more example and that is the POS type of boolean function. We have product of sum. So we have different uh, three sum terms A plus C, A bar plus B, A plus B bar and then we have multiplied all the sum terms. Now to implement this type of uh, boolean function first we have to implement the sum term and for the sum term we know that we require OR operation and then we have to use OR gate. For the product at the last to prepare the product of sum we need AND gate. For the inverted input we use inverter or NOT gate. We can see that we have three inputs so we take uh, input A, input B and input C. For the first sum term, we use OR gate, we take uh, directly A as well as C input and we have output of the OR gate that is A plus C. Then for the second sum term, we take uh, B directly and we get uh, A inverted and that is uh, a bar plus B. For the third sum term, again we use A directly and for the B bar we use inverter and we take A plus B bar. Now to prepare a product term of all the sum terms, we use a AND gate with the three input. We connect output of all the OR gate to the input of the AND gate and we take output of the end gate and that is a, our final output y is equal to a plus c dot a bar plus b dot a plus b bar 
so this way we can implement any sop type of any pos type of boolean function with the basic logic gates thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much